Now let's take a look at another template just to give you some other ideas and how easy these templates are to work with and how quickly you'll be able to add your photos and get beautiful results. So I'm going to start out here on the photo mask layer again. Let's select add photo and I'm going to go to this photo here and then just bring that into the workspace as I normally would. Line that up and reposition it. That looks nice there. And then press enter on my keyboard, saves that transformation. Now I'm gonna to go to the background layer and do exactly what I did before. In this case, I'm actually going to pick the same photo and just play with it a bit, just to give it a unique look here. And let's say something like, let's say something like that, just right in the background. And I'm gonna double click that. In this case, I've got a little room to play with this photo in the background. So I'm going to reverse the image by pressing Ctrl or Command T and putting a little negative sign in front of the number up here next to width and that will flip that image. Double click to save it. And then we get sort of a neat double image effect here in the background. And you'll note again our opacity layers here are set. So this one is at 65. I can bring it up higher or lower. But 65 looks nice here. And then now I'm going to go to that background layer again, double click. And in this case, it's going to be a little more pronounced. We can click on any color in the photo and really blend it nicely. You can kind of click around and see that neat effect you get. So all of your templates, again, are going to start with the white and black background, as you can see here. When we go into these different templates, there are the white backgrounds, or in some cases, we'll start with black. But for the most part, you're just going to have those white backgrounds, but you can change those colors to match your photos perfectly by just clicking on that background color layer, clicking on any color in the photo, and then just matching it right up to get the look that you're going for. So let's say we'll use that. And then finally, I wanna show you the text layers here, similar to the other preset layers. All text layers will be preset with an effect that's off with outer glow. So if you did wanna have a little glow there, you could do that as well to make your text stand out. In this case, I don't really need it, but I can change the text by double clicking our T icon. I could change the font. I could change the color if I wanted to. And I can also change, of course, what it says. So maybe we want it to say Panama Park, Florida. And then down here, our date, of course, we can double click and change that to whatever we want it to say. And again, all of that is fully customizable. The fonts are included, so do make sure you download the fonts and install them. And you can use the fonts that we use, or you can always use your own fonts, as I mentioned. And also don't forget, you can move all of these layers around. So if you wanna move these layers here over to the side, you can do that. You can move this layer here. You can adjust your red layer here by clicking on it, the photo mask back layer, control T, and you can adjust how much of the fade you wanna see on the photo and the blend into the background. So if you want to have more of a blend here or less of a blend, you can do that as well. So just double click there. And then that is still blending into the background layer. You can change your colors. So a lot of ways to play with this to get it to look exactly the way that you want.